everyone. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Now let's get on with today's tutorial. I am going to show you how people do this really cute tea bag art and it's actually pretty easy and it's cheap because your canvas is so darn cheap. So first thing you have to do is to love to drink tea as much as I do or maybe more because these bags can add up really, really fast. And one of the great things you can do is to actually recycle the tea um, as well as the the bags. So, um, of course, not by drinking it again, but, um, well, I mean, I guess some people do, but I, I don't do that. Um, this is round a round tea bag from Tetley Tea, which is one of my favorites. The other ones are all Lipton. And as you can tell, you just empty it out. And if you can bring it in a little bit close here, you can maybe tell I have some tea leaves still in there, which I, I do love. So um, it's just up to you on what kind of art you wanna do. I really believe in not having to buy like extra stuff to do some of this scrapbooking stuff with. So um, I would recommend use the stuff that, the things that you have on hand, like your paints. This is an old paint palette that I have from when my kids were little. And it has these fantastic colors, because look at that. Bright pink and the purple, which is disappearing. And then um, like an orangey, a yellow, and this really pretty, pretty blue. So I'm going to use that. And then just a Crayola, uh, like a school palette. And then the pens that I normally use, which is a Uniball Signo. And this is a 207. And I usually use this for my Bible journaling and stuff like that too. And it works just great. It's just a uh, gel pen. Another thing that you can do with these, ooh, there is actually stamp on them. And I'm gonna show you how to do that as well in just a minute. So we are gonna get ready and get started. So the first thing you wanna do is to drink your tea, which is kind of a given. And then you want to squeeze out all the water from the bag, the tea from the bag. And then you're gonna dry these guys out. And if you'll notice, you know, there's usually like a staple in the back and then you're gonna, if you open it up and let it air dry, like usually overnight, you'll uh, end up with this. And I really love it because then you get this like really nice color here and here. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that. You'll see some of these lighter tea bags and these are just green teas. They're not gonna have that, the tannins that the dark black orange pico tea has, which is so delicious. And once you are done with it, I'm gonna show you two different ways to open up your tea bags. One, this one I did a hack job on because it was so dry and it, I was trying to separate it out, but you can separate them out this way and people make long art on that, it looks fabulous. Um, the other thing is there's a seam on the inside, so be careful when you're separating it out and taking the tea out because it'll actually separate out the seam. Not that big of a deal. I mean, not for me anyway. I don't, I don't really care. And then um, another way to do it is you just, you can cut just straight down the middle, down through here. But what I do is I leave the front a little bit longer than the back just because I don't want to have the other part showing. And also it gives me a little bit of a bigger canvas on which to draw. So let's start. I'm going to just grab a tea bag. What's really fun about these Lipton ones is that they have little sayings on them. It says, take time to bask in the brew. So I like that. Um, and then, like I said, there's a definite front and a back. There's a staple here. There's no right or wrong way. Honestly, there really isn't. Even though there's a front and a back, you, you can do whatever you want. So what I do is I try to take this back part kind of out. Oh, no. No, it's stuck again. Okay, well, there we go, right? Okay, so I'm gonna try to do that. And what I wanna do is try to leave as much intact as I can. You can even cut it just from the back, leaving that top part. It, I think it looks ugly that way, but uh, you're not gonna see the back in mine anyway. Then you unfold it and you're gonna just pop out all the dry tea. 
and you're gonna find that some of the little tea leaves really want to stick to the inside. If it bothers you, you're gonna need to go in and you're gonna need to like start scooping out, see all of them, and tap it out. I don't mind that, I like it. I think it looks cool and it adds texture to the tea bag reminding you what it originally was which is a tea bag so I like to keep it that way and then I'm going to draw on the front part of that bag okay and again uh, the other thing you can do is just take it and since this one has a huge part that's going to be harder to separate out I'm just gonna separate it here and then seriously just take my scissors and longer in the front than the back, a little, just a little. And then you just cut it and you're gonna get these two pockets. And if you wanna like junk journal and put some things in those and, and have them as pockets, you can do that as well. Okay, so one of the things I read on recycling tea leaves is that you can put these inside potted plants and what the tea leaves do is they do a really good job of organically allowing, like they, they will keep the moisture and suck in the moisture like from the, the rain or um, whatever. So it gives your plants a little bit extra stuff, um, just like mulch. So you don't have to throw away the old tea, which is really nice. I, I like that a lot because um, I just like to be able to use everything. So, oh man, I've got tea leaves everywhere. Okay, so on one of these, what I wanted to do was to show you how I stamp. And I just have this one handy. I don't know where my other one went, but I'm just going to use what's handy and hope it shows up. I just got these on eBay, I think it was. And there, it says like botanical tea. It has a bird, which I love. And it has wishing you a happy, and then a party, happy party, I guess. And then it says cup of tea warms the soul, like a good friend. I'm gonna use that. I also like the butterfly one too. You know, I wanna do the tea? Nah, I'll do this. Okay, so I'm gonna do long art on this one because it's a long stamp. And... I know this is like sacrilegious because I don't even have my acrylic block here with me. All right, don't freak out. Don't freak out. It's gonna be okay. I know, it, it really is. It's your own art, it's your own stuff and you're an adult and you can do whatever you want to do. So what I'm going to do is zoom in a bit more so that you can see it's just easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm gonna get it more towards the top and then fold it down on the bottom. And then that way you can see um, all of it. Oh, goodness, that's so light. That didn't really come out really well. All right, fine. Let's see, at least get the cup of tea part up. Let's try it again. This is to show you, I don't know what I'm doing. Here we go. I don't know what that voice was, but it was my, I don't know what I'm doing voice, apparently. Okay, well that's a little better. So it gives it a little bit of stamping texture, if you will, and if you want it better then you can have a, a darker um, a darker stamp. So this says a cup of tea warms the soul, but you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go over this and that way you don't even have to write it, right? And I'm just So you can, um, you can write on these. You can write a message on, on this. There we go. So it just says a cup of tea 
warms the soul. Okay, and then if I wanted, I can make a little cup of tea up here. Oh, I'm off the camera. You can't tell what I'm doing now, can you? That's lovely, lovely filming. Um, I apologize for that. Am I off the camera again? There we go. So I'm going to bring it up to the camera in just a minute, if you'll just bear with me. Okay. Hard to see. Cup of tea warms the soul. So that's just like, um, just hand scratched on there. And you can then include it in your uh, junk journaling. I probably should have tried it on something a little bit lighter. I'm thinking now in regret. Okay, so this one says um, something, oh, never quench your thirst for adventure. So that's kind of cute. And you could put like a little camping thing or even a compass. I like that idea. And then this one I emptied out earlier before the video. And this one says, take a, take a moment to make a moment. I thought that was kind of really sweet. And then another one says, sip and uh, relax. So what I'm going to do is, it says, thirst for adventure. Take a moment. I'm going to do the take a moment. And I think what I'm going to do is I am going to draw a clock on this one. Okay, so we're going to take a moment to make a moment. Um, so I am going to draw a clock. Now, I'm going to show you on here that it's kind of rudimentary, okay? And here's the reason why. Because we're going to paint. So I just kind of want to get the idea on there and I always have tea at four so my clock is going to say four always it's always tea time that's why my clock always says four okay there we go so there's my clock that I just kind of sketched out on here and already looks pretty good because it has kind of take a moment part and I'm gonna actually write moment uh, on there just because I like what the tea bag says. So I'm gonna, I like, I like giving honor to whatever it is that I'm doing. So if I'm working with playing cards, I want, I want people to know that that's what it used to be. And I want people to know that, yeah, I meant to do that, right? So that's the whole thing. Okay, and it already has this wonderful color to it. So I'm gonna uh, add a little bit of white paint and I'm just going into this big um, kid paint palette. It has some blues in it. I don't mind if it picks up some of the blues on there. And I'm going to just come in here and just whiten that up because, like I said, it was really dark. Now, um, if you paint on these pens, on the uh, Uniball Signal, it they will bleed. I, again, I, I like that um, because I think it looks cool. So there's a little bit of white paint on my clock. Okay, so really... Um, pretty darn easy and what you can do is then come back in and and fix your clock to the time and whatever else you want to put the other thing I like to do is to add a little bit of color around it so I don't know I'm liking that blue whoa whoa that's a lot of blue okay that's okay I meant to do that, right? It's always the same on my videos. Oh yeah, yeah, I meant to do that. I didn't actually mean to have it be that dark blue, but I like it. It makes it come alive. Add some here, add some there, here and there and there, and a little bit more white. 
And I think that'll be the end of that one. Okay, so look how fast that one was, right? Take a moment. I love that. And um, I can even add like a T moment. So I'm gonna put T moment, right? So it's a moment for tea time. And um, so that's that one. I made a cup on this one. And what I did was I painted the cup first and then I traced around it. So I did it opposite of this one. I just wanted to show you, but look at how cute those are. And then, oh, I have to show you this. So we went to a wedding last night and it was uh, my husband's cousin's. And so I got these beautiful flowers. Oh, they're like way too zoomed in. Okay, hold on before I drop them. Let me zoom out so you can see the gorgeousness of these flowers. And I wanted to show you those because they were the inspiration for this tea bag. And I just wanted to draw and just, just sketch it and not actually do anything more than that. So I hope that uh, this was an inspiration for you. And if you want to, I can make a teacup real quick and show you uh, how to do how to draw that so that you have it and I'm just making it on this round one I guess I could do it on this one. Oh, that one's empty I'll do it on the round so for the teacup it's super easy you just um, make a line and then a real another line right below it and then you connect those with a skinny oval. And then you do a half circle. And remember I draw kind of sideways. So you draw half a circle and then you draw a handle of some sort on the side. I usually put like a little bit of a bottom to it. And then you're going to make the steam come out. It's a two second art. It really is. And then you can kind of shade it in if you want to. And I recommend don't shade it in unless you're um, painting it. So there's your, your tea cup. Now a teapot is just as easy. I'll make one on here. And for your teapot, you are pretty much making a circle, but um, let's see, how should I do this? So it's similar. I draw almost a circle because I like those big fat teapots. I kind of put a little dash on the top and I like the scribble scribble look. Then I'm going to add a spout. Okay. And uh, make it a little bit flatter on the bottom like you did your cup. And see, my scribble scribble make it look like it's a shadowing and that I meant to do that, which... You know, I didn't mean to do it, but then nobody knows about it except for anybody who might be watching this video. And then I go up and make a lid. There's your teapot. And we can, let's paint it real quick. I like that teapot. We're gonna do it green this time. Why? I don't know. Oh, well, I do know I am kind of working on a bluish green journal. So I'm going to add Mr. Or should it be Mrs. Teapot? I don't know. It's always Mrs. Teapot, right? Because of Beauty and the Beast. So we can add this teapot to it. It's up to you if you want to paint first. And then add the sketch lines or sketch first and then add the paint lines. Entirely up to you, but I mean like super duper fast to do tea bag art. And 
that's it. We're done. I hope you enjoyed that. I also keep the little, the little um, envelopes that the tea bags come in, but now they're trying to be more, I guess, um, conscious of, you know, being green and staying green. So a lot of the tea bags don't come with their little envelopes anymore, but it doesn't matter to me because I love tea. I love art and I love junk journaling and I love tea bag art and it's just so fun and so beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed that and until next time, bye.